In this guide, we're going to look at the kick for the butterfly technique. The leg movement is often known as a dolphin kick. We're going to focus on the two main areas of the butterfly kick, where the kick action should come from, as well as the timing, which is an essential part of getting the technique right. First, let's look at where the kick action should come from. The legs kick simultaneously, and the action should come from the hips and flow into the lower legs and feet. During the upbeat of the kick, the heels and soles of your feet should just break the surface as your knees start to bend ready for that powerful downbeat action. Try to keep your ankles relaxed and your toes pointed. As you straighten your knees, your body will be propelled forward by the power of the movement in the downbeat. Now let's look at timing for the butterfly leg kick. The most common sequence that is used is two leg kicks to one arm cycle. The first downbeat kick is to help you propel your arms out of the water for their recovery phase, and then the second kick should occur as the arms enter the water and sweep down and out. A simple way to remember this would be to follow the sequence of kick, pull, kick, recovery. The timing of your butterfly kick can be tricky to master at first, but the more you practice, the easier it should become. So there you have a guide on kicking for the butterfly technique.